Christmas plants, you usually think of poinsettias or holly. Right. But today, Shirley is here to tell us all about a holiday cactus that is absolutely stunning this time I know. of year. Really is, Shirley. It, it, These are beautiful. I, I love them so much, and they're so reliable. You can have all of these beautiful colors. And here's the thing. You said the, the key word. You called it holiday cactus. Yeah. And here's here's the thing. There are actually three different, completely different plants in the same family that you will see a tag that says holiday cactus. And the reason is that it's sold during that season. For instance, right. there's Thanksgiving cactus, right. there's Christmas cactus, there's Easter cactus. That's right. And uh, today I want to show you how you can truly tell what you have if you already have so, one at home. They could be selling you a Christmas cactus, but it's really a Thanksgiving cactus. Exactly, with cactus. the tag. And that's usually right, you're gonna what show we have. Us how to be able okay, to tell. so here's what you're going to see in your Thanksgiving cactus. I want you to take a look at this leaf here. Do you notice how it's got like claws? Yeah. Sharp. Well, it's not sharp. But they like don't hurt. hurt. They don't hurt. No. Okay, so when you see the leaves like this with the tips that are sharp, that is a Thanksgiving cactus. And the Thanksgiving cactus also grows kind of straight up. Okay. Okay, now take a look at the photo of the Christmas cactus. You notice how it's cascading? And That's, it's not quite as sharp, is it's, it? No, it's as a matter of fact, it doesn't have any sharp ends. Look at the right. leaves. They're scalloped and smooth. That's that, right. my friend, if you see it like that, or if grandma has that, you're lucky. That is a Christmas cactus. They're not as common. And then look. That looks closer yeah. to this one, which yeah. is the Easter cactus. The Easter right? cactus is just round. Just round. Just like that. It's almost tiny bit scalloped. Yeah, a little scalloped. This one really is a Thanksgiving, so don't let them fool you right, at the market. Right. Now, although they are different, yeah, they, you do take care of them in a similar way. Absolutely, they that's the thing. They're used in the same way, again, for displaying during holidays. All you need is like a cool room. We're talking okay. from 55 low to 75 as a high. Okay. And they need well-draining soil. And they also need to be watered only when they get dry. Now, these plants are naturally from the rainforest. They grow on trees on limbs, on rocks, never in the soil, so they're it's epiphytes. So, wild. so they're very, very interesting. So they're very, uh, uh, plants that don't need a lot of care, but they need specific type of care. So how do we coax them into actually blooming? Because okay. like you say, this one's not blooming. Yeah, no, it's not blooming. So the thing is this, most plants that we have, indoor plants, you know, they just bloom by themselves. Right. But this is a plant, you actually have to- Force it. Force it. <laughs> and so what you do is this, I've got one here, this is a Thanksgiving cactus. If you want a Thanksgiving cactus to be in bloom by Thanksgiving, start this procedure in September. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it completely like this. Every night between 5 p.m. and 8 a.m., as long as it's 12 to 14 hours so a day. So it needs to go to sleep. Okay, it needs to go to sleep, but this you're gonna do for six to eight weeks oh before goodness. you want it to bloom. So you won't see anything for six to eight weeks but until you do this. But in the morning you take it off, okay? So why does it have to be in complete darkness? Well, the reason, uh, before I tell you that, I want you to know that right now, in November, if you want your uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving cactus to be blooming, do it now, right okay? Now. Six to eight weeks. It's too late for Thanksgiving. Okay, too late. So here's the reason why. Because we're trying to replicate the conditions of this plant in its native environment. And what's happening around starting September, because I said you could start darkening it in September, the days become shorter, the nights right. become longer, it's cooler, and that's what prompts this plant to set a bud. And, and how, it won't do it without that. How long would these uh, blooms last? Okay, so once the blooms are set, you can put them in a room that's kind of cool, and that's why I'm telling you, how long will it last? If you put these uh, plants in a room that's 75, 80 degrees, these flowers individually might last only two days. Mm. And of course you'll get blooms at different times, but if you put it in a room that's more like 65, 75 max, it will last each flower up to a week, and then you get all of these, so you got a long extended bloom and time. abundant. All right, you right. have a very interesting way, this is so cool, I'm yeah. excited for this, to cross-pollinate yes. two of the flowers okay. and make a new one. Okay. How do we do this? That's right, so what we're gonna do we're going to take this white flower. This is going to be mama, okay? <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to go to a flower. Like, I like this red flower. And I'd like to see what a red and white combination would look like. Will it turn out pink? Uh, we're going to find out. Okay, so what you do, In you take weeks. a little, yeah, you take a little <laughs> brush. And then you take off the yellow pollen, which is at the end of these filaments, <gasps> just like that. And I'm using this so in case the pollen falls. I don't, I'm trying to do an experiment here. I'm not trying to fertilize these. So then... I come on over here, 
And then I take this pink part here is the female, it's the stigma, and I just dot, and I want you to do the same oh thing. Oh my gosh, Come really? on, pick for a pink. Here? Yep, you so got put pink, this pink on the white? And then put it on another flower, okay. and then really important guys, go ahead and put a little marker so that you know that in a few weeks, yeah, you do the same thing, find one. Okay. In a few weeks, if this is pollinated properly, I want you to look at this, this is exciting. Look at this plant. You see these little, uh, uh, they look like little pea pods? This is actually uh, fertilization. I'm gonna grab one here, let me open it up. Look what happens, guys. See all those seeds? And so the flower that would come out of, of either it's gonna, one we're gonna, gonna be It's like a luck of the draw. And so go ahead and also, you know, you can do that. You can do all kinds of cross breeding. How fun is this to do with the kids? Alexandra would the be best. beside herself. Right. To do it's something. like a science experiment. This you is can so try cool. different things. That is so And neat. you know, even if you take the pollen from here and you put it on different ones, they may all come out different, That's like, like triplets. How beautiful. Now, how long would a plant like this last? Because I know my oh, mom yeah. has some plants it's that heirloom. have been at the house since I have been alive, I exactly. feel like, year they're after heirloom. year. They're <laughs> heirloom. They can last 60 years if you take really no good way. care of it. But here's the fun part. Because now you know how to pollinate, cross-pollinate, and make your own type of, of uh, you know, your, no, your new creation. Right. I want you not only to market so you know that it's happening, but look at this. Oh. We're making this for a special oh. purpose. Oh. This is for your daddy, Nico. And so oh. my encouragement to you is do this. Oh. Don't just do a science experiment. Honor maybe those that you love that are out with you and create a new plant in their name. Is really that special. beautiful? That was really See? special. See how nature is? Oh my gosh, so awesome. you're wonderful, Shirley. I know, oh, I always feel like, you know, the ones who have passed always want to be remembered. That's right. And I know That's he's here with us. Hi, Those Daddy. seeds, when they come out, you're going to see Nika. Shirley, I love you. you. I love Thank you too, you sweetheart. Thank you so much. Oh, it was really touching. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you can get the complete steps to maximize your blooming holiday cacti plants at hallmarkchannel.com and by visiting Shirley's blog.